Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you WIC 20. Now don't ask me what exactly is meant by this WIC 20 because I don't know. What I know though is that this is a simple, very lightweight front end on top of Olama. If you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest quickest and fastest way to run large language models locally. We have covered Ulama to death by now and without exaggerating, I have already done more than 1000 videos on Ulama. So if you are interested, just check it out, how to get it installed, how to use it in 1000 different ways. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to sh introduce you and install this WIC 20 locally and we will see how it works. So we already have covered heaps of front end. So let's try out one more. So this Olama WIC 20 is simply a private JavaScript based Olama front end, which weighs less than 20 kilobyte in size on a disk. All you need to do is to just serve your Olama based models locally and then launch it's a web page and you can simply start chatting with your models in that front end, which I will show you shortly. Just due to the Olama stuff, your data doesn't leave your computer. It's private, it's safe. Once you get it installed, happy days, you can start chatting with it. You can even use it offline. You can chat with your documents. It even allows you to summarize a static HTML web page and you can save your conversations as a markdown document. So look, doesn't do much, but what it does is provides you a lightweight front end on top of Olama, sweet and simple. So let's try to get it installed and see how it works. Before that, let me also give a huge shout out to our very good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code uh, of 50% for range of GPUs and thank you very much. A lot of people are using it. So I much, much appreciate your support. You can use my uh, link and discount coupon that helps uh, in funding this channel too. So much appreciated. So let me take you to my terminal. This is my Ubuntu system. And this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. I already have Olama installed. Okay, so it is installed, but my service is not running. So let it uh, stop now because I want to serve it shortly. So if you don't know how to install Olama, all you need to do is to just go to olama.com, click on this download. For Linux, just run this command. And for Mac and Windows, just download this executable and then next, next, it should install Olama for you. So first thing you need to do is just go to your terminal and then start serving Olama there. And if you already have Olama installed and the service is running, you want to stop it, simply just run this command. Um, so I'm not a root user, so I'm just going to use sudo and I am stopping, so it is already stopped. You can even check the status of the service. It is important that Olama service is stopped. So you see it is service is not running. Cool. So next thing we need to um, start the service or serve Olama here. So I'm just going to run this command. So what this command is doing, it is serving the Olama on my local system at localhost at default port of Olama, which is 11434. And you can see that I am just uh, allowing all the origins direct. So it means all or any. And this is going to start serving Olama on my local system. So you can see that here, one to seven and then it is using my local port. So let this terminal running, don't close it or don't press control C here. Open another terminal, I'm just going to open it and I'm just going to disable my existing Conda environment. You don't have to do it if you are not running uh, Conda. So I'm just going to do Olama list. You see there is nothing there. So let's go to Olama's website, click on models. From here, you can download any model of your choice. 5.4 was released just today. I already have covered it on the channel. Let's go with Llama 3.3, the small one. Okay, so even this small one is quite big. So I, I just want to make it quick. So I'm not going to go with big model. So how about Llama 3.2? Let's do this. 
and you can see that the size is just 2 gig and it is Q4KM so I'm just going to grab this Olama run command let's go back to our terminal let's run it there and make sure that you uh, use this command because there is another command to pull or download the model that just downloads it this one actually runs it and then as soon as you run it from the other terminal you would also see that it is going to start serving it so you see it is down it is showing you that it is downloading that model so it seems that model has been downloaded i'm just moving this here there you go so it is verifying the checksum and the server is also showing you the progress Let's see if I can put them side by side for you. There you go. So there you go. So model is running and model is being served here on our local system. So now I'm just going to keep both of these running, uh, both of these windows. I need to open a third window because what I need to do here, I need to get the uh, VIC 20. So for that, let's go here and then uh, I'm just going to give you the command to get clone the repo and you can also I will find the link to the repo in video's description I'm just going to deactivate my default conda environment so let me run this and that is done so let's go to my local folder and this is where we have downloaded it Olama Vic 20 and then click on index.html there you go and on the top right you can see that llama 3.2 is selected let me make it slightly bigger so that you could see okay much better i think you can see it properly now so there you go so you can if you have multiple models you can select them from here and you can just start chatting uh, with it so you can just uh, chatting with it like i might trade income this is australian slang there you go you see the response of the model so model has automatically assumed uh, the australian personality how good is that so so look um, as i said you can just save your chat here and i think you can even do the um, file upload and check it out i think you can just upload an index file or a static html file or url i believe but we can check it out so i just went to olama.com i grabbed this llama 3.2 vision let's also download it and for downloading what i'm going to do where is the second one no sorry not this one this one i'm just going to say buy here and then i'm going to run this vision one let's run it let's wait for it to get downloaded this is a vision model which means that you can chat with your images so I just want to see if, we ca if I can attach an image there and then if I can talk to it. And the vision model is downloaded and I refresh this page and you can see that now vision model is um, shown. So let's quickly check one of the images from my local system. I'm just going to grab maybe um, any sort of stuff here. But it doesn't show me anything, right? So it, I'll just say... Hmm all files maybe i'll just go with some think this what is this image let's check it out would it do anything or not okay so it says that uh, actual image url or description and i'll do my best to help so it needs an actual url of a static so i think this is where they mean that i would need to do the uh file there because you see my file is correct um okay or maybe this is the feature which is still in progress because look to be fair to this person um the guy just uploaded it like 15 minutes ago so maybe we will revisit it uh, this one but already i believe if you want to do the text based stuff this looks pretty lightweight to me and i'm still curious about the name i think maybe maybe that this could be the very very old commodore vic 20 computer which was i believe was released in 1980s uh it was a very very early days it, that was i believe 8-bit computer and it used to feature in a lot of dramas and movies and if you watch that sit us sitcom especially from that era you might see it in some of those sitcoms 
and uh, so i think this is where i have seen it maybe i'm totally wrong so if you know week 20 uh, is because you know if you look at the image it shows exactly that sort of thing and i uh, maybe i could ask the llm how about if we ask this llm sorry i'm just so i just selected that i'll just say what is week 20 let's see what it says let's wait for it maybe i sorry you know what okay there you go it says let's go big 20 is a home computer that was released in 1981 by commodore international there you go so we got it and so this i think uh the picture gives it away and then this is a big 20 i believe anyway uh pretty nifty and good open source um, project i wish the license would be apache not gpl uh, rest of it is fine so that's it i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think and before i let you go i would also like you to the to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and you will also find the link in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching